Hey guys, Ashley here, and I want to introduce our new monthly challenge for the Coast to Coast collaboration. We are going to be using a story by Stacy cards every month. So what this is, it is a little set of ideas. This is a great jumping off, jumping off. So there's ready, so, and bonus cards. So the ready includes things like family, special days, blessings, my journey, set, bullet points, song lyrics, quotes, acronyms, inspiration, maps, go, we got pocket cards, pockets, complimentary colors, stamps, lots of photos, one big photo. And then our bonus, mixing old with new, ink or paint, tools, different sizes, interactive, lots of words. So you can see there is a good variety. So each month we are going to be flipping over one of each card and try to incorporate it into a uh, layout. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab one. All right, so we have food and fun. Um, let's do a quote. Okay. Up next, let's do circles or stripes from our go section. And from our bonus section, super simple. All right. So this month's challenge is food and fun, a quote, circles or stripes, and super simple. Craft on. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Designs by Dana. I am Dana and I'm also a close to my heart maker. This month we are doing another coast to coast CTMH maker collaboration video. And as you saw by the intro video, we are going to focus 2023 on the story by Stacy story deck. And these are the ready, set, go, and it looks like mine are out of order, but um, these are the Ready, Set, Go cards that will help prompt you into coming up with ideas to help you get started with your creative journey throughout this year. So for each month, we will be picking cards for each one of the categories. We have Ready, Set, Go and Bonus and we will be working on layouts for those four categories and each one of us are doing the same cards and you'll get to see just how you can really stretch your imagination and i really hope that you'll join me in these challenges so at the end of each video we'll also let you know what the challenge for next month is if you'd like to take that challenge and join that join us with that so just a reminder for our video collaboration group there's currently four of us and we have kim up here in the upper um, west coast ashley down here in california i'm right here in the center missouri and then Amanda is over here in Florida. So if you are interested in joining our collaboration and you are a Close to My Heart maker, please reach out to one of us and we would love to talk to you about joining our group. And I will also put a link to each of the other gals videos for this month in my description below so that you can make sure you go see their videos as well. So just as a reminder for this month, these are the cards that were drawn and I'm just gonna kind of stick them over here to the side as a reminder as we go along. So Ashley did the draw for this month and we drew food and fun. Um, we had a quote, we had circles or stripes and then our bonus was super simple. So let me get this out of the way and I'm going to bring in my Versamat. And let me show you what paper packet I'm going to work with today. So I picked the Tutti Fruity paper packet. This one is 
currently still available. It's not in the current book, but it is available as it has not run out of stock yet. So these are the three papers that come in the packet and you get two of each of these. And then on each side, on the opposite side, you have three additional patterns. So you get a total of six patterns, two of each pattern. And then you notice we have the product stripped at the top, but on the back of each product strip is a cute little pattern as well. And we like to refer to those as zip strips. And then with that paper packet, I always buy the sticker sheet version so that I have lots of little embellishments that I can include with my project if needed. Uh, with this project, I don't know that we're going to include a lot, but I do plan on including at least this cute little scallop and maybe some of these fun little sentiments here. So we'll see how the project goes if I decide to include some others. So let me get all of this out of the way and then we're going to get started. Okay, so I have my verse mat here and we're going to start with just a plain white sheet of cardstock. The photos that I'm using for this are photos from my besties retirement party last year and May. She is my age and she's already retiring from teaching school. So how lucky is she? And I love these colors because I think they match the 2D Fruity paper packet really well. So this is kind of my basic design of how I want the photos to uh, lay out. And then we'll go ahead and bring in the papers and dry fit everything out. Now, one of the things that I did is I created my own Picture My Life card. I did this on Microsoft Word, and I just loved this. This is my quote here. So I've accomplished the quote by using retired teacher, just like a regular teacher, only happier. So I've got that one accomplished. And I've got the food and fun accomplished because retirement party and we have cake. So those two I've already accomplished. So this one I'm going to kind of lay here. And like I said, I did that on Word. You can use Canva or other um, software products as well, but I liked the way that that turned out. So for my stripes and circles, I'm going to bring in my papers here from the paper packet and I'm kind of pulling in the striped concept in two ways. So I have these striped papers and I'm also using the linear design here to make stripes. Um, and I really thought that the papers needed to have, the photos needed to have something to kind of ground them with here. So I wanted to just kind of use this as a grounding point for these photos. And then down here, I've got the stripes as well. And we're just gonna make them go in a slightly different direction. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to bring in a pencil, a drawing utensil, and I'm just kind of lightly map out where all of my pieces of paper are going to go. Um, that way I can come back in with my, and this is about the half inch mark, so that's not gonna be a big deal. Um, so I can just kind of map out where I'm gonna be stamping. And then we're gonna come in with some circle stamps and do some stamping. And this way we won't have too much overlap problems and I'll know exactly where my images are going to be. So let me just kind of fix this and I'm just gonna put that right there. And these are gonna go down here. So about the one inch, one to four, up to the one and a half, so about like that. 
So now I can take all of this off. And I have kind of a lightly sketched out map of where I want my circles. So the stamp set that I'm going to use for my circles is an own VIP set. It was called We Are Good Together. If you're interested in learning more about being and becoming a VIP, let me know and I can give you more details. But Close to My Heart has an excellent VIP program with lots of special programs and rewards. So um, that's a great program. And I'm pulling in the circles um, to include the circles or stripes. So this will accomplish that card. So let's pull in some ink colors. So I do have black, and then the colors in my paper are lemon, capri, and flamingo. And then I have some fun little circle stamps. So I think what I'm gonna do is make the, well, I think let's go with Flamingo for this one, and then Capri and Lemon. So now I can just start stamping my circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my ink colors over here, and I'm going to turn my mat upside down so that I can stamp on the surface here. I'm also gonna bring in just a scrap piece of paper so I can stamp off the edges if I want to. So let's get to stamping. So we're gonna start here and just maybe kind of do some randoms here and there so that they can poke out from different places. So keeping true to the idea of somewhat of a visual triangle, I'm gonna start there and then we can work our way around the project. So let's bring some yellow in there. And we'll just kind of feel our way around and see how much um, circles we want to add. And, um, you know, we can keep going, we can stop at any time. Um, we can just get as crazy as we want with this. I'm gonna speed up the rest of the stamping process, but you'll notice as I continue to fill up the page, I do go ahead and swap out some of the different stamps for different colors as I move through the process. So while I'm stamping this in, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my pictures. I mentioned this was my bestie, Ann, and Ann and I have actually been best buds since fourth grade. So not to date myself, but that is a really long time for us. And we grew up living across the street from each other. And in those many years of growing up together, we have certainly found ourselves in some pretty um, fun and ornery times together, but I would not trade that for the world. So when Anne retired, I was so glad that she agreed to allow me to throw this retirement party for her. She's worked so hard for it. And one of the things she wanted to do was go on a cruise for her retirement. So it's hard to tell in this photo, but the cake represents the cruise that she's going to go on. At the top, you have some beach chairs. There is a cruise ship in the middle, and then the bottom represents sand and a beach. So the cake turned out absolutely gorgeous. So as I'm dry fitting everything here again, I realize that I want a few more um, circles put on the layout so i'm going to add a couple more of those and then i also have a small solid stamp so i'm going to add that because it adds just a little bit of textural um, dimension to the layout as well so i'm going to add that in a couple different colors and if you caught that i actually went from my flamingo pink ink pad to my capri without cleaning it so 
if you're going to do something like that, those are the definitely the two colors to do it with instead of going into a lighter color such as the yellow. Now here I have a black small stamped item and it looks like a tiny little sunburst. But as I'm stamping it, I'm noticing that it kind of looks like a tiny little spider. So when I get through with this, I decide that I want to add some embellishments and you'll see me do that as we go on. But this just little hint of black kind of pulls in the black cardstock that I've used to mat everything with. And that's really, I had that pre-done just for the purpose of saving time on camera, but everything is matted in black. And that just really kind of helps it pop out. So now you can see I've completed my circle component with my picture, my life card, I decided I wanted to trim it down with the fancy cut, thin cuts. And I'm also going to give that the black frame. So I'm going to cut that out and be right back. Okay, everything is glued down now. Um, I did decide to rearrange this um, because I thought this looked better on top because it... Um, gave this as an anchor for all my pictures and then that way this is not only in my quote but it also looks like a title to the page so now it's time to embellish and i'm bringing in my sticker sheet and i saw this cute little cupcake here so i pulled in my 0.01 journaling pen and on it i wrote retirement is the icing on the cake so i'm going to use this and I want to pop that up. So let me bring in some foam tape. And I've got some of these pieces left over to use that I'm going to stick in here. And I'm gonna stick this down here in the corner. And I think that's gonna be a cute little embellishment just to kind of pop up right there to give that some extra oomph. Now I also wanted to pull in some of these other pieces that I think would look good. So I think good times would be cute. And I'm gonna pop all of these up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the foam tape to them and then I can rearrange them on the layout wherever I decide I want them to be. So let me get all of them popped up. I think happy days would be really good and appropriate. So let's just go ahead and do it this way. Um, I think this is happiness would be great. And that might really be enough. Maybe, well, let's play with that first. I don't know that I really like any of these other ones. Maybe a heart. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so let's play with these. So we've got good times, this is happiness, and happy days. Um, I'm thinking these might be good just right over here like this. Again, kind of going with that striped theme. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll start here. If I can get that straight.
There we go. And, you know, in, in the vein of keeping this super simple, I don't think I'm gonna over embellish. Um, you guys know I like to embellish a lot, um, but I'm going to try to keep it simple. I think I might add maybe a few sparkles um, just to add some dimension. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna do too much. Um, I want to see what the sparkles look like on these little things because they kind of look like little spiders to me. So maybe adding sparkles to them might help that um, spider effect <laughs> or at least some of them, maybe not everyone. So let's try doing a few and see what that looks like. I like to use my paper piercer to put my embellishments on, but there's so many different ways that you can use um, to put these on. Some people like to use tweezers, um, whatever works for you. So I also wondered if putting them in here would be a little overkill, which it might be if I'm doing it super simple. So let me just kind of hold this up and take a look. I think that does look a lot better than the spiders. Um, so I think that this is completed. I'm happy enough with that to keep it simple. I could embellish for days, but I'm going to stop. So let's um, get everything out of the way and recap with our assignment. So we had a food and fun card. So favorite food, restaurant, something new, cooking, baking, in the kitchen, recipe or snacks. Well, I didn't have any of that. So I took it a little bit further and did an occasion with food and fun. Um, quote, definitely had a quote. So a movie, book, sayings, um, prompts, scripture, whatever that might be. Um, so I did have a quote. Circles or stripes, um, mostly circles is what I went with. Um, I did my create your own with stamps um, and added the circles. And then super simple, so minimalist, straight lines, um, one color, white space. So I did a lot of white space. Um, this one's really hard for me to keep it simple because I do like to embellish a ton. So I think I kept true to all of my assigned cards and that should take care of it. Okay, so we'll take one final look and we definitely accomplished all of our tasks by keeping everything super simple. Circles, quotes, um, food, and I think this turned out really nice. Um, definitely could have embellished it a lot more, but chose not to in the uh, vein of keeping it very simple. So I'm very happy with this. I hope you liked it too. I'm just going to kind of give you a couple close-ups with my, um, there's my little picture, my life card DIY, and um, some of the stamping here down at the bottom. So Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me remind you again a couple things. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and let me invite you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also please um, make sure that you take a moment to go through the other gals videos and give them a watch as well. And then stay tuned at the end of my video, we will have the draw for February's videos and you will know what our challenge will be for February and if you'd love to join along you can use the hashtag um, C to C and then whatever month it is so Jan Feb so the first three letters of every month um, so for this month it would be C to C J A N two, three for the year 23. So if you'd like to do this challenge, do that. And wherever you post it, 
Um, you could post it on my Facebook page, um, anywhere you want to, and use that hashtag. We would love to see that out there. And then for February would be C to C F E B 23. So hopefully I haven't forgotten anything I wanted to cover. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And we will see you back for this collaboration in February. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for another Coast to Coast collaboration video. This week's challenge is going to be about family. Our set card is going to be a one word title. Our go, ooh, monochromatic color. That sounds fun. And the bonus different sizes. All right, enjoy your challenge. Craft on.